what is up you guys here setting up uh just showing you guys my template setup um after kenny's new update to his vocal chain um you know the famous alex to me uh interpretation by kenny beats for ableton so took, took a, a lot, lot of inspiration, inspiration obviously Mine's a little different, but not too much different. Explain why I have what I set up, what I set up. I'm not a pro or anything. I just know what sounds good given my circumstances. My setup makes a little bit more sense if you understand my room in terms of this template. It's basically an office space with the mic set up in a corner of the room with a reflection filter directly behind it basically just got it nailed to the wall so it doesn't go anywhere or anything like that i know the corner of the room isn't the best place for mic placement per se but with the reflection filter behind it and the mic pattern i have set on that specific mic that mitigates the issues of recording in a corner. So I record with an AKG P420. So it has a figure eight pattern, cardioid pattern. I'll put some diagrams up on the screen to basically explain. But yeah, with it recording direct, what's only directly in front of it and what's behind it, Behind it, you got foam. In front of it, you got vocalists and a little room noise, which is okay. Um, it's kind of the best it's going to get. I don't know, maybe. Um, given the current circumstances, you can always do more. Plan on doing more. So here's your beat track. This is where you'll have your beat, naturally. Here's your tracking track with effects which we'll get into later and this track here should be dry no effects no time-based processing no sends it's just clean and the reason why you do that is so you get a recording that isn't bogged down by latency and doesn't pick up any latency from your plugins. So, if you think about the signal flow in this whole equation, as you'll see, I can just do a brief test here to show you the latency you'll pick up. So, this is a test to show you that and I can already see it off that just by visual, but as you can see, the quote unquote zero latency track has all these waveforms right before this. And in the signal flow process of things, the signal has to leave from the performer's mouth to the mic, through the cables, through the interface. And if you have more like analog gear through all that shit to the PC, through your processing in the PC, back out through your interface into your audio output. There's going to be some latency picked up along the way. You just can't help it. Um, now, is this an issue? Up until a certain amount of latency. So, your brain starts to pick up audio latency around 12 to 13 milliseconds. 
currently Ableton says I'm at 11.6 milliseconds of overall latency so definitely something um, you might pick up on you know like uh, slightly off oh when you drag the track down and everything and you make sure all your cut points and everything are on point like yeah I'm snapping today man I'm so accurate so you go in you drag it down boom play it back ah oh, man something's off man then you zoom in and you control Z and it's in the exact same place you recorded it and you don't know why that's why I've been victim of it too my previous solution would just be to drop my buffer rate and send my CPU going nuts now as you can tell the overall latency drops a lot but also your PC starts working a lot more harder so I mean it's a trade off but with this kind of mitigate that because as soon as you drag the sample down it's as soon as you drag the sample down from the zero latency track it's going to be the most accurate representation of what your vocalist just performed so you know so big 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 gem thank you Kenny now the plugins I have on the tracking track same across all the vocal tracks fab filter deesser it's great uh, turn, turn monitoring on, on and, and you, you can, can see, see you, you know, know. so we'll, we'll just, just highlight, highlight that, that and show you, you. I, don't I don't know if it's, it's okay, okay there, there it is, is. Picking, picking up all, all the siblings, siblings. now I've, I've got, got direct monitoring, monitoring turned, turned on my audio interface, interface so I can, I can hear it sort of when, when it has sounds, sounds on the recording. recording. But anyways, I have filter. filter, a gate for the room noise when I'm recording on the P420. And I've got an EQ here that's got a preset on it for the artist I record. So her dissonant tones are almost always going to be in the same range. So this is a great starting point for me. Up next, I've got the SSL E channel. And... This has got the Kenny Tume settings. Um, yeah. Put some tone color back in after we just knock some out. And then right after the E channel, going into the R comp and these are the settings 14 negative 14.7 threshold 2.96 ratio 2.9 gain and uh 5.3 attack 160 release 
and out of the compressor into an EQ full tech emulation a seven boosts on the 5k band and that's it on the vocals we'll see we'll see and our sense for my shirt short reverb got true verb long reverb I've got many American I like this plugin a lot especially the distortion and for my long reverb Valhalla Valhalla is always nice on vocals too um I'm gonna start using it more you know I've done it on like one two tracks but um start using it more cause hey man it's a free world and same delay throughout um just different time divisions I use the quarter and the eighth delay the most. I don't use sixteenth and one thirty second delays as much. One thing I've got that Kenny doesn't have is this chorus slash tape send. So if I want to use a chorus, um, which I'd like to start using more of this plugin right here, Kaleidoscopes. Um, yeah, Let's see what that's about. And Kramer tape emulation. Fun plugin. You can get some crazy sounding stuff out of here. Or some really subtle stuff. But that's my setup. Um, after looking at Kenny's new setup and really, really appreciating the uh, latency fix or solution workaround. So much so that I rearranged my template also. So shout out to KB. Shout out to Alex Sume. Um and shout out to everybody else that be out here dropping gems. Thanks for watching guys. If you made it this far, don't forget to like, comment. Uh, if you have any questions, you know what I'm saying? Drop me a comment. Shoot. Let's chop it up, man. Um, I really want to do this YouTube thing. So, it's going to be more consistent. So, definitely uh, don't be afraid to ask for something. You feel me? Like a video. I look into it. Just drop a comment. We can chop it up. Subscribe, man, and drop a comment. What do you want to see next, man? I really want to do this YouTube thing. So, uh, if you got something you want to see, man, let me know, man. I'll see what I could do, man. I ain't perfect, but shit, I'll try. I'm out.